Assalamu alaikum, it's Tim here from Urban Donia and welcome back to Sydney Explorer. Today I'm coming to you from Central Station and in today's episode I'm going to be taking you around the southern end of the city, starting here at Australia's biggest rail hub and then heading over into the suburbs of Chippendale, Ultimo and Glebe. It was opened in 1906 as Sydney's main railway terminus, but we start today's video on a sad note, as it was here, Platform 1 at Sydney Central, that tens of thousands of Indigenous children arrived after being kidnapped from their parents by Australian government forces. The policy was phased out by the late 1970s, and today a memorial stands at the end of the platform. Outside Central Station is Henry Dean Plaza, where I worked as a barista during my university days. This is the entrance to the Devonshire Street Tunnel, which traverses the width of Central Station. Murals are painted along its length. As the Devonshire Street Tunnel dives below George Street at Railway Square, pay close attention to the walls. There might be someone looking back at you. From here, George Street becomes Broadway, and we enter the suburb of Ultimo, with the University of Technology on one side. and Central Park on the other. I really love this development because, um, I mean, you can see there are pieces of art here. It looks beautiful, it's useful, and people are actually using it. People are living here, people are coming here to shop and eat and just spend time. I think it's a really good example of what can happen and what's possible when urban design actually works. In the streets behind Central Park are some interesting galleries, including the White Rabbit Gallery, dedicated to contemporary Chinese art. Back at the end of the Devonshire Street Tunnel begins the Goods Line, a disused freight railway line which has been converted into a public space. Along this are the studios for the ABC, Australia's state-owned television channel. Some old machinery preserved from when the goods line was used for, well, goods. And the distinctive architecture of the UTS Business School. Coffee, so I guess, but... 
it's nice. It's like there's lots of flavor. It's a strong cup of coffee. I like it. Harris Street is the main artery through Ultimo, and it brings us to the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences, but everyone in Sydney knows it as the Powerhouse Museum, as it occupies the site of an old power station. As a child, this was easily my favourite school holiday activity, coming to the museum and being able to experiment with science hands-on. I guess some things never change. number of international students for the universities in the Ultimo area means that there's no shortage of good international food here. I'm about to head for a bite to eat at Kopitia, which is just up here on Harris Street. It's cheap, it's cheerful and it's popular. If you're looking for something a bit different, nearby is the Sydney Fish Market where you can feast on all sorts of delicacies. Across the road is Wentworth Park and Sydney's most important Greyhound Racing Track and Club. Beyond here we begin our walk along Blackwattle Bay and around the edge of the suburb of Glebe. There's this fancy restaurant up on the hill and most novel of all, a ferry wharf where the boat stops only if you book a pickup online. The path weaves its way through preserved mangrove forests, a hint at what the area might have looked like before European colonization. There's lots of old machinery here too, left over from when this area was an industrial zone. Nowadays, it's prime real estate and forms part of what's being called the Bay's Precinct. It stretches all the way along the waterfront from the fish markets past Glebe towards Balmain, and you're going to be hearing much more about it in years to come. A feature of this area is the Anzac Bridge, connecting the city centre with the west. We've reached the other side of Glebe Point, so it's time to start walking back through the suburb of Glebe, but not before stopping by these impressive murals in one corner of Roselle Bay. 
Now, before we start our journey back towards the city center, there is one more thing that I want to show you out here at Glebe Point. You won't believe it, but hidden among the streets of Glebe is a Buddhist temple. Glebe is a lovely old suburb with vintage cinemas, terraced houses, a plant gallery, a community library, and a community garden. There's also one of Sydney's most popular Saturday markets. Glebe has a real community vibe about it, a bit like Surrey Hills but not so grungy. There are also some awesome places to eat here too. Or, another one of my favourite activities, book shopping. At Sappho, you can combine the two, with a bookshop at the front and a bar and cafe at the back. Also on this stretch is the quirky Bad Manners Cafe, where I spent many an afternoon in my university days with friends sipping on chai and munching on cakes, when we probably should have been in lectures. There's something of an anti-establishment vibe around here too. I didn't notice it while I was at university, but just recently I did, which probably says a lot. Oh, and speaking of university, that's Sydney University right across the road. We'll go there next week though. And that's the Broadway Shopping Centre, where we'd hang out or see a movie sometimes. And here we are back on the final stretch, back on Broadway towards Central Station and Central Park. Now I'm heading back towards where I started and uh, I really need to re-energize and I've heard about a bubble tea place that has opened up here. Now bubble tea is originally from Taiwan but um, it's huge in this part of Sydney and it really reminds me of when I was going to university around here and we'd duck out to get bubble tea on our breaks. But um, I've been told that this place is pretty special. So this is what all the fuss is about. It's called Sun and Moon and it's basically tea, black, well milk tea and uh, brown sugar pearls in the bottom which are made of tapioca and I cannot wait to get into this. Oh my god. If you love brown sugar you will love, if you love anything you will love this actually. Delicious. So I've been told to come here to Spice Alley, which is a new precinct that has popped up here right near Central Station, and look who I ran into. <laughs> Again, we have dinner with Anandi, and I have her to thank for showing me this incredible place. Thank you so much. Um, and we're looking forward to a really good meal. We've decided there's a whole bunch of places, but we're going Indian tonight. Tonight is Indian, so you're going to have fun. I can't think of a better way to finish off this day. We are sitting here, open air, at Spice Alley. It's dusk, it is a nice sort of cool breeze blowing, and we have these incredible desserts. Check these out.
Okay, so that is it from Central Station Ultimo for now. Thank you so much to Anandi for joining us. Thank you, guys. And for showing us around this great place here. We are maybe going to hit another dessert, I think. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next vlog. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Next week, we're headed for Newtown.